This is day 26 for us playing Viking Rise as an F2P player. And in today's video, we will be showing you our three main hero combinations that will command our troops in the battlefield. When you inline your commander to the troops that they handle, they can bring the best out of it. Each troop should have commander that in line with their attribute. I don't suggest for you to focus on only archer or only pikemen. You have to set the right commanders on the right troops that they belong to so they can perform well in the battlefield. But before we jump in, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips. So finally, we are now leveling up our walls. That means we have to gather more and more resources again while we wait for it to be finished so we can upgrade next our chief hall. Look at that required resources. That actually has a lot of resources needed to upgrade. How much more on the next level? Now I understand other players are going to zone one and looking for some abandoned cities to loot resources. But anyway, we are now able to research the T4 pikemen troops from our military technology and we are now currently researching for our T4 archer troops. And we have now reached the 4 million might so far. And still at level 8, prosperity. Let us go to our hero list. I died and was reborn in the flames. At last, we have finally go reached the level 6 stage of Ivor's talent. For now, we need to level up his experience level so we can be able to fill up these talents branches. Ivor is really the best hero that you can have and the one that you can focus on leveling up in terms of everything because it is not a waste if you focus on his skills, talent and experience level. He can be partnered with any of the hero in the Viking Rise. It depends on where you will use them on the ground. And this is really one of the best things of the game because you are going to have Ivor as your main hero with a lot of free shards and he is flexible that can be partnered to any of the hero that you will choose. He can then give support to any kind of troops at the early game of Viking Rise. But as your troops get bigger and as you get stronger, you will be needing to have commanders that focuses on each of the troops. This means that you will be needing to have a pikeman commander that brings up pikeman troops in the battlefield. You will be needing to have archer commanders to bring up all the archers in the battlefield. So let us go to the map. At the early game, you will be commanding one troop unit and Ivor is one of your commanders and you'll have a chance to choose who is going to be his second commander. And you can see here that we have assorted kind of troops in one unit. That is what Ivor is best for. He can support all kinds of troops, but since we have a lot of troops, now we have to divide our troops that will go to the battlefield, and here they are. So, this is the pikeman troops led by our pikeman commander. This is the archer troops led by our archer commanders, and this is our infantry troops led by our infantry commander. Now these three troops units can go to hunt Niflungs. They can go to hunt Beast Lair, or they can go to player versus player. But what if we have a rally? Here is where Ivor will come up to command one unit of troops together with second commander, depending on what kind of enemy are you attacking in the rally. If it is a rally of player versus environment, then you have to select pikeman commander to be partner up with Ivor. Then if it is a player versus player rally, then you can choose archer commander to partner up with Ivor. This is when you create one troop unit that you need to bring all kinds of troops in one group. You have to use Ivor and any of the said troop commanders. So, here are my three best hero combination to command my troops. First is for the infantry. I would be choosing Ivor and Gregory to command my infantry units. Ivor for sure is the strongest here to command infantry because he is the first hero to level up and with a lot of free shards, he has leveled up his talent so fast. And I think Gregory is the best hero for us F2P players for Infantry Commander. And you don't have to worry about his shards, just make sure you have a lot of Clan Bronze coins to buy his shards weekly. Every week you can have a chance to buy 10 shards of Gregory. If you are lucky, you can have a chance to buy 20 Gregory shards a week. 
Gregory is much focused on defense compared to Yen's. That is why I have chosen Gregory to command my infantry units. Next is for pikemen, I would choose Laird and Wooder. Laird is like an upgraded version of Wooder, because when you see their first talent, they both have shield talent. But the only difference is, one is an epic hero and one is legendary hero. That means the other one is higher than the other. But for sure, they are the best commander for pikemen for me, especially for F2P players. And the last one is Vedandi and Artur. We all know that they are both the best when it comes to archer units and damage output in the player versus player battlefield. I have focused on Arter with Ivor since day one, and now I am really impressed with how strong they got up until now. They are really useful and strong heroes. For now, I am using them to hunt beast and nifflungs. When you inline your commander to the troops that they handle, they can bring the best out of it. Each troop should have commander. I don't suggest for you to focus on only archer or only pikemen. You have to set commanders on each troop so they can perform well in the battlefield. If you have something to share in mind, use the comment box below, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips.